Got a beautiful day. It's like 61 when I drove in this morning. I'm out of the dorm rooms, which is a good thing. I got a good night's sleep at home. But uh, you know, we gave yesterday off. We had a we had a tremendous scrimmage, I thought, uh, on Saturday at Heinz Field. Uh, I got 130 plays in. You know, winners and losers don't really matter. You know, I was happy uh, as a head coach that day just because of the things our offense did, and the things our defense did. Again, sometimes the score, sometimes the head coach messes up the score too. Um, but it was um, a great scrimmage, very physical, um, great attention to detail. Saw some guys that we wanted to see make plays in Heinz Field on game day, and uh, really, really excited about that. Really, you know, kickers did an unbelievable job. Special teams were solid, and you know, overall, just a, a productive day to the point where we got fresh yesterday. Got a great 85-minute lift in and, and recovery session for our kids, and. and and today we got a two a day scheduled and we'll see how this first one goes. But we're looking for, for quality, not quantity. You might give them tonight off. Maybe. Maybe. You know, I think we got a pretty mature football team right now that's focused and I like I like where we are. I like the attitude we took in the scrimmage and it was physical. It was one of the best scrimmages I've you know, we've had here as a staff, um, in my opinion. Just because it was crisp, clean and and, and pretty uh came out pretty good to help us. Any clarity about the quarterback? You know, uh, you know, there was obviously. I think everybody did some good things. I mean, you know, from obviously from Nathan um, all the way down to uh, McVitie and, and Bo Schneider. I mean, we saw some good things. Um, and uh, you know, I don't know if the clarity. I think we still got two more weeks for clarity. Um, and, you know, there's good and bad out of everybody, um, except probably no bad out of Nathan. He was really, really sound. But we're still, we're still searching. How'd your uh, freshman defensive tackles look? You know, they look pretty good. Good question. Uh, you know, Watts continues to impress. Um, you know, camp showed some really nice things. And again, that's when you know, those freshmen get into a different atmosphere, and they're used to coming out here every day. Out here every day, walk out the door, and, and then to, to go in a different surface. Sometimes the freshmen are the ones that get exposed. But those two guys, you know, step their game up in and, and Heinz Field. And, and Wheeler did a nice job as well. Um, so, uh, you know, I, th I thought they, they did a nice job. They need to. Defensively, not just the tackles, but all those freshmen, how do they sort of compare to some groups that you've had back through the years? Um, they're they're about as good as what we've had. I mean, we've had some young D tackles through the years. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, if you come in and you can help us as a freshman, and that's, that's pretty good. So I would say they, they, they go up to the top of that list. Who was the first guy out there at Star? I mean, you getting any clarity there? Um, you know, we continue to rotate guys out there. You know, it's a continue, we, uh, continual uh, evaluation at, at that spot, too. Are you starting to make depth chart decisions Does that happen over the weekend? Does that happen this week? Yeah, I mean, there, there was a lot of depth, uh, depth chart decisions made. You know, but then again, there's still another week of camp to go. We'll have a rehearsal scrimmage on Friday. Uh, so, you know, we, we try to make depth chart changes every day that you're in pads because I think, you know, you either go out there with an attitude that I'm getting better today and I'm going to beat somebody out or, or you don't. And, you know, I like when our kids have to see that up and down. Oh, I was there yesterday and today I'm not. What happened? Um, so they'll be, you know, that'll continue this week. You mentioned Jester Wea by name uh, the other day. Can you tell us about the, the catch? Uh, yeah, you know, just early in the game, uh, he had, he had just a nice over the shoulder catch that that he needs to make, and he did. And uh, he had a couple more that we'd like, you know, some maybe tougher catches that he could make as well. So he just continues to get better, and and uh, he can be a big time receiver. Where's his confidence level right now? I think it's as high as it's ever been. You know, uh, if I compare it to where it was last year, it's it's up there. Was there a particular game or situation last year where you felt line could have used a break? You know, where that depth could have really helped you out? Um, you know, <laughs> you know, there was never a point like that. You know, um, maybe say second half of the season. I don't know where we as crisp as we needed to. It wasn't a game. I mean, you look at a nine-minute drive against Georgia Tech, that wasn't a time where you said they needed a break. I wish we could have gone off the field. You know, they went fourth down, fourth down again and got it, and then we kicked a game winner. So, I mean, that would be a time where you'd say, you know, they can't be out there for nine minutes, but they were. Um, so there was never a point, but, um, you know, the point maybe you get to is in the, in the bowl game where, you know, officers out and all of a sudden a guy's coming in for the first time. He didn't have that game experience like you'd like him to. At the outset Saturday, was officer at center and books are at right guard with the ones? I don't remember. <laughs> did you say, I, I don't think it was in the press release, did you say you came out of the scrimmage healthy? Do you have any yeah, we did, situations? You know, well, we had a couple bumps and bruises, but nothing nothing major. 
So I feel pretty, really good about that. Uh, um, we'll we'll talk specifics. Anything final? You coach, any final questions? You mentioned James by, by name as well on Saturday. How did the reps seem to shake down at the running back position? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, James got, you know, obviously he, he uh, lined up and got a few carries and looked really good doing it. And, uh, you know, I talked, you know, prior to, you know, camp starting that we weren't going to wear him out. And you know, before the scrimmage, I said, hey, James, I want you to get in there. I don't want to keep you in all day, so don't make me, um, you know, make us. Uh, let's get in. Let's be sharp. Let's be, let's do what we're doing, and let's get you out of there. Let's, you know, let's get to September 3rd. Is he back to where he was before the injury? You know, we'll see. We'll see September 3rd. You let me know afterwards. I'll ask you guys. That would be my first question. Doesn't you. matter what I think, Coach. Yes, it does. His uh, conditioning is holding up, You guys up, saw him though, before. I mean, like, his, his conditioning, though, he's, he's – Yeah, he's yeah. when we took him shape. out, we conditioned him right afterwards just to wear him out. So he's conditioned good, I think. Coach, thank you. Thank you all. We have to period five.